in the tempo world where it's fast tempo because we're doing a lot more of that on our on offense. Um, you know, like anybody right now around the country, I mean, there's some nicks, there's some bruises, there's some setbacks. And I think it's always important to look through the proper lens as you look at this. Uh, you know, right now, I think the offense has um, probably had the better hand over the defense if you just put a scoreboard on right now, which, which we don't have to do. Uh, you know, it's kind of an up and down, everyday change a little bit as far as who's having success. But I, I like the leadership of our defense. I really do. Uh, it's important to them. We have some depth. You know, we have, still have some issues, though. You know, we've got some positions uh, at nickel, at free safety, strong safety to a degree. You know, we're still open. There's a lot of competition there. Uh, we've got one defensive end spot that's open. So I've, I've done a lot of talking. Um, you know, we're the second week at camp. We like to think we're going to be a pretty good defense, but it's kind of hard to judge right now, other than I really like the leadership and I like the urgency. I really do. What's special about Hart? Unbelievable. Well, first of all, his family. You know, you go back, I remember going in his home, uh, you know, right in the middle of the winter in Minneapolis. Uh, I watched him wrestle before I went to the home visit and won the state championship in the state of Minnesota in wrestling. Then you go in the home, the dad played football at the University of Minnesota. Mom was a swimmer at Minnesota. Brother was a tight end at Minnesota. Then there was a younger brother and a couple dogs around that house and you just felt right away that you were getting a guy, if we could get him, that had all the intangible things. You know, great family, uh, a great line of athleticism in the family, um, but just a, you know, a Dakota Cox. You know, those guys don't come around very often. Plus, he's really a good football player. You know, he's, he's long. Uh, I wish we could have redshirted him, but we didn't. But he's been back-to-back -back captain for this team, which is pretty impressive. Steve? So been, uh, we can talk about Aaron Overacker, just about his ability to mix everything and juggle everything to be out here. My hero. My hero. Um, and not the only one. You know, I, and I'm not telling you how to do your job, but as this camp progresses, I would hope that every other day or every couple of days we could do a story on a walk-on. Uh, but Aaron Overrocker is an example of what our walk-ons are, but he's, again, he, he's my hero. You know, um, what is it, nuclear engineering? Um, 4.0 students, mom and dad, both engineers, um, walk-on. He's taken a lot of snaps for us, uh, has done a lot of good things out here, fought through injuries. But I guess the, the best story is that, you know, engineering classes, for the most part, he would know this better than me on the specifics, but engineering classes are in the morning. And we practice in the morning. So he loves football so much that, and I appreciate our faculty, whoever it has been, and he'll know specifically who it's been, of videotaping those lectures and those classes so he can be out here in football and then come back and do that on his own in the afternoon. But unbelievable kid, you know, and I hope he gets a chance to play in some games and contribute. Um, you know, we've got some new guys. We're pretty talented at that position. But he's my hero, man. He, he, he is my hero. And there's several other of these walk-ons that are in that same. You know, we've got several uh, engineers out here. You know, Portia is an engineer. Uh, we've got a pecan farmer from... Hatch, New Mexico, uh, out here. That's uh, an incredible story in his own hacky. There's there's so many great stories, you know. Um, sure. um, you know, last night we had a walk on, or yesterday in practice we had a walk on from La Cueva, Reese Wilkinson, that had a setback with a knee injury out here. That's a good little football player, and as a true freshman, you know might have worked himself this year into a position where he could have helped this team. But you know, that's a guy that was injured out here as a walk-on that has a bright future in this program. These walk-ons are unbelievable in, in what they do and the investment they make and how much they help our team. So I hope those stories keep coming. I mean that sincerely. Cool. Coach, uh, at and announced its TV schedule. They've got three of your games. What does that kind of coverage mean when you're trying to sell your program? We've had tremendous coverage. You know, if I go back right now and think of the articles, first of all, we've had in newspapers over the last several years. And, and again, I think that's, when you talk about what lens you look through, 
that's where this football program is. You know, one year, one year ago, we were coming off a bowl win and articles, feature articles in USA Today. I think there was one in the New York Times or Wall Street Journal, Chicago Tribune, all those things. And we're also coming off a season where I think our last four games were on ESPN Family. Uh, and it was a tremendous amount of revenue, unexpected revenue that was brought into this athletic department our last four or five games the year before. So sometimes, again, um, under certain situations when emotions are high or different dynamics, sometimes that lens gets skewed a little bit. But we've had tremendous coverage in this program. And also, um, um, you know, that, that's part of it. You know, last year we went three and nine and maybe lost a little bit of that. I don't know that we actually did, but it wasn't like it was the year before. But we can get it back pretty quick. While we were waiting in line to buy season tickets for uh, football, um, like everybody else, does that, uh, does that make you feel good? Yeah, I appreciated that there was a line. <laughs> I hope we didn't have to create that line that he stood in. No, I appreciate that very much, you know, and I've gotten to know Paul very well you know we, we talk a lot um, we talk about dynamics here specific to the state of New Mexico and, and certainly UNM um, I've been very impressed with him and more than that I appreciate his friendship so I'm gonna have to make that up now I'm not gonna buy one of those sweets over there in Dream Style Arena but I may I may follow up and stand in line and buy some basketball tickets Okay. What are your updates on Greeley Peak? Um, Greeley is MRI is tonight. Uh, Peak is in concussion protocol, meaning today he started some activities. He should be back full speed by Monday. Uh, I mentioned Reese Wilkinson had a knee injury last night. We are going to MRI it, but it doesn't look good right now. Uh, Jalen Burrell has a grade one um, sprain of his MCL, he'll be out probably a week or two. Um, other than that, uh, you know, that's what camp is. You know, when you work as hard as we do out here and we're going good against good, um, that's that's what it is. So we're pushing through it. Um, Zanir Schuler has a bad bruise on the top of his hand. Um, Day Day Vigilant has a bit of a shoulder, but he's fighting through it. So I could probably keep going with that list. You know, but that's, that's what camp is, and the guys are pushing through, except for those guys that that I mentioned that uh, are going to be out for a while. You guys going back to full pass tomorrow? Uh, pretty close to full pass today, right? Other than they didn't have that thigh pad right here. Right, right. We call this shells. Um, I'll make that decision tonight. You know, I want to look at that tape. Um, we're in the middle of a pretty good grind right now. When you look at Wednesday, first of all, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You never go through that during the season when you practice that many days consecutive. Um, we're getting taxed pretty good right now. So, I mean, I'm going to go watch the tape. Uh, we'll visit his coaches and we'll kind of decide Thursday and Friday specific to what that tape looks like. And then hopefully we're going to scrimmage Saturday and, and cut it loose. So, we're right in the middle of it right now. I mean, this is. This is, this is why this is a tough sport. You know, it's mentally taxing and it's physically taxing. But that's what we're trying to do is build that level of all those things. So when the time comes, we can put a heck of a team out there. All right, man. Thank you. Appreciate sure. it.